Bayer Dynamic DT770 Pro, best under $200. The Bayer Dynamic DT770 Pro are studio-ready headphones with an approachable price tag. Sound is incredibly rich and balanced and build quality is good for the price. They're available in multiple versions from a low 32 ohms all the way to 250 ohms. Because of their build and sound quality, these headphones are best suited to music creators with a need for a durable, high-quality set of tracking headphones in the recording booth. Something you can trust clients or bandmates not to break accidentally. They're also suitable for casual listeners at the computer who need a super comfortable set of closed back headphones or users with glasses. The DT770 Pro's ear pads are larger than the average bear. Coupled with the soft cushioning, you can guess that comfort is top notch. It also feels like your head is sandwiched between pillows. The Bear Dynamic 770 Pro's are a studio favourite for two main reasons. They're capable of delivering an even frequency response and are durable as heck. Their closed back design offers plenty of isolation, which is ideal for when working with musicians that like to record in the same room. Definitely an amazing pair of headphones. Number 4. Sennheiser HD600 – Best Sound to Price Ratio Sennheiser HD600 is an open back professional headphone that guarantees great sound quality and performance. The modern diaphragm design tends to eliminate the standing waves, resulting in clean sound that's also free from artefacts as well as acoustical disturbances. The Sennheiser 600 is indeed a fantastic addition to any dedicated and hi-fi stack listening room and has become a top favourite among the mastering engineers all over the world. This great headphone is also noted for its spatial natural imaging, unmatched transient response and highly optimised feature for high-resolution recordings. The padding on the earpieces is comfortable as it is for the headband. The headband has a firm but not tight grip, which will adjust to your own head size. They're mostly of good quality plastic construction. This keeps them lightweight and they weigh only 0.57 pounds. There'll be no fatigue problems during long sessions wearing these. These are not fashionable, nor headphones that have been designed for looks or luxury. These are built for critical listening. They might appear to be expensive when you consider the price point, but when you get the real quality, you have to pay for it. In reality, they're not expensive at all if you consider what you're getting for the money. Definitely a great pair of lightweight headphones that are suitable for long sessions. Number 3. Sennheiser HD660 S – Best High-Res Headphones We have another pair of Sennheiser, not because we're biased, but because their current offerings are some of the best gaming and music headphones you can get right now. This time we've got the Sennheiser HD660S, arguably one of the coolest cans ever to come out of their workshop. They're a spiritual successor to the HD650, a classic pair of headphones audiophiles have worshipped for more than 10 years. As the successor to the venerable Sennheiser HD650, the 660S had some very big shoes to fill, and it does not disappoint. It's got an impressive soundstage, arguably better than the 650. It feels as if you're in a theatre when you're listening to a musical. It sounds wide and expansive, and while it's still stereo, sound locations feel very real. Even though the 660S has an open back design, you can hardly feel it, as the drivers produce a very immersive soundstage. The HD660S makes some changes that help improve the HD650 and the HD600's already great sound signature. The sound is still fairly neutral, with an emphasis on the mids, Vocals and other instruments in the mid-range are more highlighted, just like the rest of the HD600 headphones. But with the help of the new drivers, the HD660S manages to solve some of the issues found on the older HD600 headphones. The HD660s managed to fix the infamous Sennheiser Veil and can now reproduce better highs. Number 2. Sony WH-1000XM3 – Best Noise Cancelling the previous model was one of the best noise-cancelling headphones the world had ever seen, and this year Sony stepped it up a notch with the XM4 version. By every possible metric, the Sony WH-1000XM4 wireless headphones are a wonderful pair of wireless noise-cancelling headphones. They deliver exactly what they promise and then some thanks to their exceptional noise cancellation and cutting-edge codec support. In terms of materials, you're mostly looking at a high-quality plastic build with supple pleather padding, the result is a product that feels mostly durable while remaining extremely comfortable to wear for an extended period of time. Thanks to their comfy feel and great noise cancellation, we completely recommend them for travellers. However, they are not great for workout enthusiasts who need a secure fit and water resistance, or business people who need the best-in-class microphone. 
For nearly everyone else, however, these are the best headphones you can buy this year. The 30-hour battery life is also amazing on these headphones, but it's also good to know that the headphones can be charged in a matter of minutes thanks to fast charging. These headphones are the best noise-cancelling headphones of the year, so if you need a pair of ANC headphones, you won't find better than the XM4s. Number 1. Hi-Fi Man Sundara – Best for Audiophiles The Hi-Fi Man Sundara are some of the best audiophile headphones under $500. Their build quality feels premium, while their sound quality is fantastic. While they have limited accessories, they offer good value for the money and will last several years. The Sundaras from Hi-Fi Man feature their newly developed diaphragm, which is 80% thinner than their popular HE400 series. This means that you'll be receiving a much wider frequency response that allows for more detail when listening to your favorite tunes. The overall build quality is great. The Sundara are mostly made of metal and feel sturdy, featuring durable ear cup grills and more wear-resistant yokes. Their detachable audio cable, which connects to both sides and ends with a regular 3.5mm analogue plug, also feels well-constructed. The default audio cable lacks a remote for music controls, which isn't really surprising for audiophile headphones. They are some of the best-sounding open-back headphones under $500. Their bass performance is good for open-back headphones, while their imaging is almost perfect. Their treble and mid-range are both balanced, while their soundstage is wide, as expected from unsealed headphones. You can use them not only for listening to music, but also for listening to other forms of media and even gaming. Since these are open-back earphones, anyone that happens to be near you when you're listening to your music, a podcast or anything really is going to be able to hear it in just about the same detail. Because of this, you might want to avoid wearing these in public places, as you'll probably get a lot of looks if you use them to listen to heavy metal music on the train. Buying Guide – Frequency Response Do you like music with bass? Frequency response is the range of frequency a headphone can produce, where lower limit is the bass sound and upper limit is treble. Most headphones support 20Hz to 20,000Hz frequency response. If you like more bass, then opt for something that can support wider than the usual frequency response range. Cord. Do not skip this section even if you are planning to go for a wireless headphone. Even though a wireless headphone looks cooler and is portable, you need to select it based on which wireless technology it's using. It can be either radio frequency or Bluetooth. Bluetooth typically has a 30-meter range and may not sound as great as any other wired headphones due to battery or range issues. In case of wired, do not go with a rubber-coated cord as it tangles easily and gets damaged early. Sound quality Audiophiles are not the only ones who should be concerned about the sound quality of their headphones. Before committing to any single pair of wireless headphones, considering audio quality is of paramount importance. These days, many wireless headphones are equipped with aptX technology. To put it simply, Bluetooth was never meant for high-quality audio transmissions, which means that audio is compressed, making it sound worse. With aptX, compression is done differently so that audio quality is a lot more similar to CDs. The trick here, however, is that both the headphones and the audio devices – speaker or phone, for example – must support aptX technology. With all that said, many people will not be able to tell the difference between a $400 pair of headphones and a $40 one. Even if they can discern subtle differences, most people will not be willing to pay such a high premium for what they perceive to be a slight increase in quality.